Okay, go ahead. Name? Lieutenant Cash. Montgomery County? Montgomery County Sheriff's Department. Phil, tell me what you had tonight. Uh, early this morning, approximately 7 a.m., the Montgomery County Sheriff's Department Special Investigations Unit served three separate search warrants on residences in Harris and Montgomery County. Uh, one location in Montgomery County uh, was located on Oak Lawn Street in Splendor, Texas, where five vehicles were seized, along with the residents and the residents in a, across the street and several lots in the same neighborhood that are associated with this uh, narcotics investigation. We believe the properties were purchased with proceeds from illegal sales of cocaine. Uh, the money was laundered to the purchases of the property and the and building of the residences. Also, we believe the vehicles were, were uh, purchased or used as conveyances in the illegal operation. The estimated uh, value of the two properties uh, and the other items seized are close to a million three. And during this investigation, which has lasted approximately 18 months, close to a million dollars in currency has been seized from people associated with this same group. They're based out of Montgomery County in Far McAllen, Texas, in Far Texas, on the Rio Grande border. And we believe they're associated with one of the cartels, Mexican drug cartels. Any idea which cartel or anything like that yet? We suspect one, but we haven't confirmed it yet, but from the location, uh, general location, and where they're from, where, where you know they have residences in Mexico, uh, we've narrowed it down to one we believe, but we're still trying to confirm that at, at this time. How many in custody? On the re We didn't make any arrests today, but we have one in custody on a federal charge for money, a money case. Uh, he's serving 18 months in federal uh, locked down right now in Fort Worth, Texas, but we're withholding all the names at this time for a later press release. Okay, what about type of vehicles? What kind of vehicles did you end up getting? We seized uh, two trucks, a Dodge Charger, and a, a, well actually there was three trucks, two cars, one being a Dodge Charger. What about the neighbors? Uh, anything? How were they reacting to all this? Uh, they, I believe they were sus suspicious of the houses due to the large, the, one of the houses is extremely large for the neighborhood. Um, it's a, a very nice piece of property. Um, they, they suspected something was uh, going on. But one of the houses has recently been vacated and has been put on the market. Um, oh, estimate that they're asking $950,000 for that house. How, what about other properties? You said there are other properties in the neighborhood too? Yes, yeah, so other properties were purchased and uh, they're being investigated under the civil seizure. Uh, the Mo civil seizure is being conducted by the Mon Montgomery County District Attorney's Office, who's assisted us along with the uh, Internal Revenue Service, the Drug Enforcement Administration, and the major drug squads, Hyde 31. Uh, we call these agencies to assist us due to the large size of this organization. And you said this has been going on for well over a year in the investigation? Yeah, the investigation has lasted approximately 18 months. Uh, started from a tip and was investigated by the Montgomery County Sheriff's Department. And we asked for additional help from the federal agencies due to the uh, large size of the organization and the proximity to Mexico. What about anything else on there? I mean, do you, uh, more arrests possible on this or any more seizures <laughs> possible on this? Yeah, we expect more arrests and seizures in the future. Uh, we're working. Uh, with the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office, uh, gathering more information and, and, and compiling a, a criminal case and a civil case against multiple actors that we believe are involved in this location, in what this organization. Actually, what will actually happen to these properties now? Through the civil seizure process with the District Attorney's Office, uh, if they're awarded to the, through, through the uh, seizure hearings, they'll be placed for uh, public auction or sold uh, to the public. Going back to the DA's office and right, the currency, any monies, uh, currencies made on this will be divided amongst the police agencies that assisted uh, to use in other enforcement issues, buying equipment and other items like that. Any drugs at all? Uh, not during this this part of the investigation, but we do have ledgers. So we've had ledgers uh, during the investigation, and we discovered several more today that document what we believe are millions and millions of dollars in sales of cocaine. In, and the uh, amounts of monies and the monies received. We've had uh, 
three significant seizures uh, in the last several months, uh, combined close to a million dollars from traffickers we believe are involved with get, trying to get the money back into Mexico. Okay. All right. Let's get on it. Go